Hi there, it's Cindy Powers Prosser of Opening Doors Within, and I'm here with today's golden key. Today I'm going to share with you three of my favorite tools for manifesting a love-filled, happy life. These tools are desire, imagination, and expectation. First tool, desire. How often do you allow yourself to desire? I mean, really dream and desire. What do you desire? Where do you desire to be? What do you desire to do? Who do you desire to be with? And how do you desire that relationship to be? Where do you desire to travel? To create a fabulous life, you must get clear with what you desire. Here's an example. My husband Larry and I desired to leave the cold, long winters of Lake Tahoe, California and move to a more temperate climate at the beach. Larry desired to surf in a clean ocean. I desired to have a year-round veggie garden and fruit trees. I desire to take long walks on a white sand beach. What do you desire? Getting clear with your desire is your first important step to creating a love-filled, happy life. Second tool, imagination. Engaging your senses. Actively imagine what it's going to be like when you're in your desire, when you're there in the future. Engaging your emotions. Feel in your body what it's going to be like. If it's a beloved that you desire, what's it going to be like when you wake up in the morning and you look into their eyes? Actively imagine your desire, engaging your senses and your emotions, being in the future. Back to my example. Larry and I actively imagined together what it would be like to live at the beach. Larry imagined what, it be li what it would be like to get up in the morning, grab a surfboard and go into the sea. I imagined what it would be like to work my hands into the soil in my garden, both with fruits and vegetables, taking those fruits and vegetables and creating healthy meals in my kitchen, having a simple life. I imagined those long walks on the white sand beach. I could feel the warm sun on my skin and I could smell the sea breeze in the air. Actively imagine your desire. And the third tool, expectation. Expect this or something better with harm to none. And it's important not to hold on too tightly to exactly what you think it's going to look like, who it's going to be, or when it's going to show up. That's important too. You want to hold on more about what it's going to feel like, the essence of your desire, more than the form. It's that feeling of when you're going to be there. That's what you want to expect. This or something better with harm to none. If you hold on too tightly to what you think it's going to be, you might miss what the universe has in store for you. And that's the bigger picture. Well, back to our example. Larry and I imagined that we would be either in Mexico, Central California, or Kauai. And Larry thought maybe, maybe it would be New Zealand too. We actually bought property in Mexico and Northern Cal or in Central California. We had plans that we were drawing up for a home in Central California, but things just weren't flowing. They weren't coming together as easily as we had imagined. So what did we do? Well, instead of trying to force it to happen, we actually asked for a sign from the universe. We said, please show us a sign on where we're supposed to live. Where exactly are we supposed to move? Well, you better watch out for what you ask for. A sign certainly came. Just a short while later, we had a sign that came in the form of a surprise dinner guest. That dinner guest was the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Yes, she showed up for dinner, and we, we absolutely took it as a sign. So from that evening on, we started to look into New Zealand, and just as if the universe had put out a red carpet for us, everything started to come together. All the doors opened for us to easily move, make the move to residency and build our home here in New Zealand. And the rest is history. That's just the short version actually of what happened, but you can get the idea of how we've used those three tools to create this beautiful life that we have here in New Zealand. This week I suggest you get clear with your desire, actively engaging your imagination and expect this or something better with harm to none. Have fun with this. Three tools for manifesting the life you want. Desire, imagination, and expectation. The more you use them, the sharper they get. This is the last video of my seven 
video series, The Golden Keys. I hope you've enjoyed them. I've had a, really a lot of fun putting them together for you. All of these videos were filmed at our home and retreat center, Tuamotu, here in New Zealand. Now, if you would, please leave me a note. Let me know what you thought of today's video or any of the videos that I've done in this video series. I read every single one of your comments, so thank you so much for sharing. These videos have given you a chance to get to know me and experience just a small amount of my work. I offer retreats in beautiful places throughout the year, and I create products and programs, both live and virtual. If you haven't done so already, I encourage you to please take a look at my website and see if there's something there for you. In fact, I encourage you to do something even more. If you would, drop me an email introducing yourself to me. Let me know a little bit about you, your biggest obstacle or situation, maybe something that you'd like to work with, and your best way of learning. I'm always creating new retreats and programs and products, and I'd love to create one with you in mind. If you do Facebook, please hop on over and like my Facebook page, Opening Doors Within, and keep your eye open in your inbox for my twice monthly newsletter that I'll be sharing more tips and tools for you. Well, that's it for me. I want to thank you again for joining me on this video series. Until next time, from my heart to yours, goodbye.